All right guys, before the video starts, I just wanted to say that this video is not the fastest way to get a gold javelin in Anthem, but it is the most relaxing and fun way to get extra reputation in order to slowly and passively get a gold javelin. Well, instant transmission to the start of the video. Yo, what's going on guys? It is the Big K, back again for another video. So I wanted to show you a few things that you should be doing in free play in order to make the process of getting a gold javelin a little bit faster. So obviously the road to getting a gold javelin is very long and grindy. That's why I'm not really trying to grind it out. I'm like passively just doing things in order to get it just a little bit faster than I would if I was just completely disregarding all the things you could do. So I'm slowly trying to get there. So some of the things you should be doing is, if you're in free play anyway, is if you're just flying around, shoot at every single plant you see. If you drop a green ember or anything higher, you will get two reputation points. It doesn't sound like much and it's really not. So say you're just flying around, you see a plant, shoot it. It's green. I'm, I'm not even going to pick that up because I don't need it. I'm just going to keep flying and I still get the reputation. I don't have to pick it up, you know? So I could snipe that and see if I get lucky and get a green ember or better, and I will get reputation. I'm getting more reputation than I would if I just fly right past it. See, blue, I'm not even gonna pick that up, because I don't need it. Purples and blues, if I see a masterwork, I'm gonna pick it up, but purples and blues, I get. I have so many of them because I do so many strongholds and I just dismantle all the purple and blue gear that I get. In the course of like 30 seconds, I um got like an extra 10 reputation. It adds up quite quick. Also, Here's a collectible, man. There's tons of collectibles in Bastion, and you get reputation for picking them up. So always look for collectibles. Bam, even more reputation. And yeah, if you see things to salvage or thing, anything to loot, always go for it. Because it's that chance you're going to get an extra two reputation, which I mean doesn't sound like much. But if you know the map enough and you know where all like the spawns are of like the plants that spawn in like eight packs, there's like areas where plants spawn in eight packs, you know, like eight different plants in a row. You have the chance to get like a decent amount of reputation. And every hundred plants that you destroy, as long as you drop an ember, that's 200 reputation right there. And you could do 200 plants really fast. So obviously you also want to be doing world events as much as you can. And then every time you complete a world event, you're going to get reputation. And then every time you open this chest right here, you're going to get reputation too. And purples. Also, when you're flying around and you see a chest, just mark that in your brain as a chest spawn. Because at another time, it'll spawn there again. So like me personally, I have like 50 or 60 different locations in free play just off the top of my dome when i'm in the area i'm just like oh yeah there's like a chest spawn right here and i go and check it every time you open a chest you get five reputations so it's just always good to have those locations in your mind so when you're in the area you don't necessarily go towards those locations just when you're in the area just try to remember oh yeah there's chest spawns here there's a possibility for an eight pack of plants to spawn right here and just like the more you know about free play, the more reputation you could gain over time. The more chest spawns you know, the more like groupings of plants that you know spawn at certain locations, you could get more reputation. All right guys, so a little bit of a recap here. If you're playing free play, always do world events because you get reputation from the world event and the chest that you get at the end of a world event. Number two is learn where groupings of plants spawn that way, when you're in the area, you'll, you'll just be like, oh yeah, there's plants that spawn here in large groups, and then you could go to that area and have a good chance to get a decent amount of reputation. Third, you want to make sure you have some chest spawn locations in your brain. That way, when you're in the area, you could be like, oh yeah, I'm going to go see if the chest is there. And also, when you're flying around, just snipe those plants. If it's like purple or blue ember that drops, you don't even need that. Unless it's a masterwork. I always pick masterworks up. But you just have to snipe it, and if it drops an ember, you get reputation. It's awesome. Oh yeah, and collectibles. Make sure you look for collectibles, because they also help out. This isn't the fastest way to get a gold javelin, but it is one of the more relaxing ways. And it's been the Big K-Man. Peace out, guys. Much love.